I'm planning on working out every morning from 6 until 7.30 or 7.15 around and then uh, basically getting ready for class which is at 8.05 Mondays and Wednesdays or just gearing up for the day and just doing a lot of homework. I do all my homework in the mornings or just like mid-afternoon very early times because I'm most productive then so yeah that is the schedule. Okay, y'all, I'm ready for my first day of classes. My first class is at 8.05, so I have to get going, but I will see you all later. Bye. Okay, so I just had class and now I'm in the library and I had class from 8.05. It was supposed to go until 9.25 or 9.20, but the class got cut off short because um, it's just the first day with syllabus review since she didn't give us our syllabus and so I took the class surveillance in black literature which I'm really enjoying so um, now I'm just studying here at the library until my interview at 11 and I have an interview with the student initiative of academic diversity for interviewing Africana and English candidates for tenure positions so I'm on that committee and right now I want to search which means that I am actively um, interviewing and attending job talks for three different candidates that Davidson has narrowed down and then we're writing letters of recommendation for all those candidates. Yeah, so I have an interview at 11 and then class at 12. Hello y'all, so I'm back in my room and now I have my interview as I was saying before and I'm super excited about it and then I will go to class and then I have another class after that at 1.10 so Mondays are very hectic for me and this is obviously my first Monday in person but I am definitely gonna have to eat lunch right after my interview and eat an earlier lunch before my 12 o'clock class. I will see you all later. Hello everyone, I just got out of class and I right now I'm sprinting to the grocery store right now because I just got my micro fridge delivered, finally which is super exciting because I've been looking for the micro fridge for the past couple of days and I haven't been able to get anything to make any food. So alas, here I am running to the grocery store before my next meeting, which is at 4.30. Hello everyone. So I forgot to vlog after my meetings and then just dinner, but I had dinner with my friend at Commons, which is like the main dining hall facility. And then after that, I have come back to my dorm and I was doing a little bit of planning for the Pan-Asian Student Association, which I am a part of and a leadership position of. So I was doing some planning with my friend Audrey. And now after that, I did some reading and now I am meal prepping and it is almost 9.30. Which means that it's Alice's bedtime because I got up at 5.15 this morning and I have just been going and going and going. I have just been doing a ton of stuff, but today was a very successful first day and I'm excited for what this coming week will bring. Bye! 
Hello everyone. So right now it is 5.58 and I'm on my way to the Union Gym. It is day two of the week of my life of the first day of classes and it's super dark outside because no one's up and it is six o'clock in the morning. But I'm super excited to start the day off right with the gym. I feel like this just puts me in the best kind of mindset, moving my body in ways that I feel like really nourish me. So I'm super excited and usually, sometimes I work, work out with other people, but usually I just work out alone and I will check in with you all after the gym. Just finished class and I'm in the library doing work and I got a class early and then I have a meeting with a the Buddhist chaplain and then after that I have a lab for my geology class. These are my first lab class and that will be from 1.10 to 4 p.m. So I have a little bit of time. I packed lunch as I showed you all this morning. So I packed lunch, which is really nice. So I just have to go to Union to go meet with the chaplain for a meeting. And then I am going to eat lunch and then I'm going to go to my lab class. So that's it for now. I'm just going to get some work done here. So I'm here at Union and I just finished my meeting. And now, here is my revealed packed lunch. You can't even really see it, but basically, I got some kale and spinach from the grocery store, and then um, microwaved the frozen Brussels sprouts, and then air fried the sweet potatoes, and then put some leftover avocado from my avocado toast on it, and then also sprinkled hemp seeds for protein, as well as put black beans as well for protein, and then I also put this oil and vinegar as well. So a mixture of good things and I'm hoping, well, we'll see how everything turns out. Basically, I'm trying to channel more individuality this semester. I feel like oftentimes there's a lot of pressure at Davidson to constantly have meal plans. And I feel like I definitely fell into that category as well. I felt like every single meal I had to keep eating with someone or I had to have everything planned. And I still love planning like weekly meals with my friends. But I also realized that it's totally okay to like eat on your own or like not constantly have plans or like save some meals to yourself because i think that for me like meals are definitely a moment of reflection as well and gratitude so it's really important to keep that in my life and not get caught up with everything as well so i have class at one but other than that um that's it okay so right now i'm walking to class behind me is the football stadium and here's wool where my class is basking in the sun absolutely love it yes here's my outfit check again definitely a tip to scout out your classes beforehand because even me well i'm a second year so i'm not a first year but definitely can still get confused on where my classes are so i would just go ahead beforehand and do a little run through of all of your classes because chambers especially the main building where you go to get your classes is like, like so crazy and it's so hard to find your classes but here at the entrance of E Wall Science Center, but I will see you all after class. Okay, so right now I'm editing my YouTube channel video that should be out by the time I publish this one. But yes, I'm here in the library and my lab got out early, so now I'm just hanging out here and then I'm going to go on a walk with my friend. Uh, and we're just gonna walk around the town and just probably in the cross country trails as well. So that's the plan, and then I'll probably do some more editing and finish up some work, even though I got all my other work done. And then I have dinner with a friend at 5.30. Okay, so now I'm back in my room. After the walk, I am meal prepping a couple things since I have extra time. I finished all of my homework and everything, so 
Homework is pretty late right now because it's the start of classes, so I imagine it'll pick up a little bit later, but I'm taking advantage of the extra time. Just going to keep hanging out here in my room. It's a really nice to have a space to go back to, to kind of just decompress and take time for myself. So that is super exciting and I will see you all later. Bye. Hello everyone. Happy day three of vlogging. It is Wednesday and it is a little bit before six and I am on my way to work out. Today I have my 8.05 again and then I also have my 12 o'clock class but then after that I am free which is so nice. So after like one o'clock, one o'clock to around like I'm having dinner around 5.45 free. So I'm gonna be working really hard in the library in between to try to get all my homework done for the next couple days. Okay, I'm just finished our 15 minute hit workout. How do we feel? So great. So great. Cliff always is a good workout. And the sunrise is here. And now it's time for my 805 class. Okay, so I just finished class and now I'm in the library again here and now I'm working on some homework before I have lunch around 11 with my friend because I have class at 12 and then after that I will just be hanging out and doing some homework in base libs. Okay, so I just got back from my class from 12 to 12.50. I'm in the library again and I'm going down to base libs. So basically libs is the library, short for library. And there's three different levels. There's the basement, there's the first level, and there's the second level. And basement is definitely the quietest. You cannot talk down there. And actually you can reserve like a carol, which is a desk. And my friend and I reserved a carol. So I'm gonna go down there and work some, definitely a good focus spot, but then it's kind of under contention. Some people think it's creepy, but definitely at night, but I don't study really at night. So the first floor is definitely just the talking floor, group project floor and second floor is kind of more quiet but you can like whisper and such and then i have dinner at 6 p.m but beyond that i'm just gonna be basically just working i kind of like working during the daytime i already have my workout done so i don't have to like have that interrupt my day and that's about it so i just finished up dinner at turner house and now i'm off to a pasta executive meeting that's pan asian student association and i'm on the e-board for that so super excited for a lovely meeting and then i'm legit about to go to bed after that so hey y'all so i got back from my e-board meeting right now it's almost 8 45 it was a longer e-board meeting than i thought but it was great very productive and okay honestly if we're gonna be very very honest uh, i am about to probably go to bed i think i might write like maybe a draft to one of my slack posts but honestly i'm super tired and just feel like i need to sleep so gotta take that cue but i'll see you all later bye okay y'all good morning it is thursday it is my fourth day of getting up at or before six i guess to go to the gym so i went to bed a little bit later last night than i had wanted to i went to bed around like 10 10 so then I accidentally slept in until 5.40, but you know, that's okay. I got seven and a half hours of sleep, which is good. And my, my body obviously needed it. So now I'm on my way for the second time to try Chidsey Gym and hopefully it is open. Then today I only have one class, which is really nice uh, from 9.50 to 11.05, which is really nice. And so then after that, I am going to go on some errands, but then also some study some more. Okay, y'all, I just finished my workout. I am the only person in this gym. A little tour. Yes, Ch Chitsy Gym has a ton of stuff, and it's super nice. It sits right next to the dorm. Obviously, it's like built into the dorm, so if you live there or if you live just like in Richardson or Tommy or even Erwin, Icarus, or Knox, it's just very close. Workout is done for the day, and now I'm off to go shower and get ready to study at Nummit.
Okay, so I'm about to head to class. This is my outfit of the day. I have this dress from Depop. The sweater is thrifted and this jacket is from my mom. So now we're gonna head down to the coffee shop to do some work until my first class at 9.50. Okay, so right now I'm in Union and I made myself another salad here and in it are sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, kale mix, and quinoa. And Chase, do you want to reveal your flatbread for my okay, vlog? Yes, okay, ready? let's see. Ready? Unboxing. Ready? Oh, Look at that. Look at that. That is so sexy. Yeah, that's so good. That looks so good. So now they're offering uh, flatbreads at Union, so I will do an unboxing later of my sweet potato vegan flatbread, but stay tuned. everyone good morning um so actually today so today is friday and today i just decided not to go to the gym i just felt very tired last night and just felt like i needed to sleep in and get like more than eight hours of sleep um and i knew that i really wanted to like have a really nourishing and fulfilling weekend filled with like fun with my friends and I really just wanted to have like the most energy going into this weekend as well as like just like energy in general today so I decided to sleep in and I think for me sometimes that's been very tough to kind of make that decision because for me I think I've touched on this before but the gym is definitely my safe space and one of my safe spaces on campus and so to kind of make that decision for my mental health and my physical health is sometimes a little bit difficult because I love the gym but I also sometimes get caught up in routine and like needing to stick to a certain routine if I don't stick to a certain routine it's like frustrating to me but kind of giving myself grace and just understanding that it's okay like it's totally fine if I don't feel like I can just get up every morning at like 5 a.m because that's sometimes difficult so just like I don't know I feel like giving myself the time to kind of evaluate how my body is feeling both mentally spiritually emotionally just physically and i just felt like i should sleep in and maybe do some yoga and meditation and kind of just uh take this lovely friday morning with a bit of grace So hello everyone, I just finished my yoga practice and honestly I haven't done yoga since actually like being back from like Vermont, like I did yoga a little bit in Vermont but I haven't done any yoga since being back at Davidson and honestly like for me yoga and I iterate this again and again but yoga for me is such a restorative and nourishing practice i feel so in touch with my body my breath as well as just like my surroundings and it definitely is difficult for me and i definitely don't discount that like there are definitely times when i like lose or just go on a train of thought and i'm not in the present moment but i think it definitely is helpful for me to try to ground myself in the present moment when at times at davidson it is hard to sometimes be in the present moment and to exist authentically so really enjoyed that practice and it was only nine minutes and just kind of for me rewiring my brain to fit, to like really incorporate and embody and understand that these kind of practices in my life are vital for my healing and just my sanity and i, mean, I love going to the gym and i definitely build that out into my day as a daily practice for me but sometimes since I have not kind of instilled 
yoga as a daily practice yet it kind of sometimes feels to me like a waste of time or that i'm not doing enough in that present moment but kind of just recentering myself and understanding that these kind of practices are extremely necessary for me and that i'm not wasting my time and that this is a good use of my time today is a busy day but i'm hoping to really work in the library or work at Nummit for a long time because I really want today to be a productive day so I can have a very refreshing and resetting weekend. So that's all for me right now, but I will see you all later. Okay, y'all, this is my outfit check and I'm on my way to Nummit to do some work. Running late. Okay, so I just had my meeting for the organization that I'm in called SIAD and that went really well and we're finishing up our letter of recommendation and the whole entire process but I'm basically done with it which is super exciting and I had after studying I went to class at 12 o'clock well I had lunch before that then I had class and then I had my meeting now I'm doing some work here and then I have an appointment with T and I at 2 o'clock and then a walk at 3 and then I'm going to do some homework and then I have dinner at 6.30. So that's my plan and I'm looking forward to having a very relaxing, rejuvenating Friday night as well. We love T and I. I'm actually walking through my favorite part of campus. So basically, this is my favorite part of campus just because I just love all of the trees that surround me and are just so grounded and present next to me. Here's an example of one tree and more trees and just like, I just feel like the just being surrounded by all these beautiful grounded creatures are just trees makes me feel really happy so I feel very empowered as I walk through this path uh, this is usually the path to get from the main street back to campus too often people are like way too glued up to their phones and just like don't really look up and just look at the beauty around them so definitely would recommend going on a walk after my T&I appointment now while I'm just going back to do some work i'm thinking union is the vibe i feel like there's kind of three different locations that you could go to do or there's many different locations but a lot of people go to the library obviously and then also people go to wall and also people go to union and then some people go to Nummit. and as everyone knows i went to Nummit this morning to do work but i would say the library is definitely depending on which level you go to the library is pretty studious and then wall is like the uber studious people and then you can i feel like it's more hello i'm more like chill vibe of just like i feel like getting work done but also socializing but also it depends on like which level you're at so i think i'm gonna go to union it's kind of extremely like, cloudy day but that's okay yeah i'm trying to avoid working in my room because i really just feel like working in my room is not very conducive to just being very productive so really trying to channel my productivity for the end of the day end of the week so i can have a nice relaxing saturday i will check in with you all at dinner time okay y'all i just finished or i finished dinner and now i'm helping set up for a pasta event and i'm super excited for it i am on the e-board and i'm setting up for a lunar new year event and as usual i'm out of breath so that's great but um yeah i'm super excited and i think it's gonna be great and that is all hello everyone it is it is saturday and it's very sunny outside and very warm and I had a very relaxing night. We watched a movie after the PASA event, which was super cute and really just very fulfilling. And yeah, it was really great to see everyone. And now I'm going to the union and I'm going to the gym for a little bit with my friend. everyone i just finished my walk well i took a shower and now i'm back in my dorm and honestly i am thinking about either taking a nap or just sitting here and relaxing for like an hour or two definitely it's good to kind of relax and take time for yourself and do things other than just 
do schoolwork because at Davidson it's pretty academically rigorous and you can always be doing work but at the same time you can always choose to do self-care as well so I feel like choosing self-care is very integral to you know being a just more nourished and empowered person so definitely gonna practice some self-care yeah so that is that and i did my workout and had some nice lunch and now i'm just gonna relax probably until dinner time okay so i just got back from the grocery store and now we're cooking dumplings so i'm super excited i haven't cooked in so long here we go So today is Sunday, it is my last day of vlogging and it's very sunny again. I had a very good day yesterday and had a very fun night and just hanging out with people I love and then I went to bed at 11.30, very exciting and just woke up, slept in this morning again and now I'm going to Union to clean out the PASA office. Um, one of our committees for things we're working on for the semesters and then at 11 o'clock i'm going to work out and then after i work out i have to make lunch and i have a family zoom at one that i organized and then i have another pasta meeting as well my first podcast episode i think i might be filming tonight so i finished my workout and it was literally insane i feel so tired i'm going to go make some lunch and take a shower and get ready for my family Zoom at 1 p.m. Here I have my salad. It has Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, rice, and then kale and spinach, hemp seeds, dressing, and the all veggie California veggie burger, which is 22 grams of protein. Super healthy and very filled with protein, a perfect post-workout. And now I have my Zoom. So I'm going on a walk with my friend Ethan. And honestly, it's just about prioritizing the time and just making time to be outside and just to enjoy this beautiful sunshine because all day with students are super busy, but it's just about making the time and just putting yourself first and really just incorporating different ways to self-care. Okay, everyone, we're out here. We're taking a walk. This is my friend, Ethan. He's great. And he is just such a fabulous person and definitely a role model of mine. And, that's, <laughs> and that's her though. No. <laughs> and so we're just going on our beautiful walk around campus. You know, as I was saying before, you can just incorporate self care in your day, even if it's 15 minutes. And then we're gonna go grind on second libs and we're just gonna get all of our work done and just have a very restful Sunday evening. Okay, so I just finished my first recording with my first podcast guest and I'm so excited about it and I can't wait for you all to see whenever it comes out. Right now I'm working in my room. What I was going to tell all of you about was just this notion that you have to work all the time and you have to be bogging yourself down. I think there's a difference between just being hardworking and taking time for yourself versus just being lazy and procrastinating and i definitely think that i am entitled to be able to get the proper amount of sleep and it's okay if i don't finish every single piece of my work tonight i can do some tomorrow in between my classes so i just really wanted to reiterate that and to thank everyone for following along with me with my week and just to let me know if you all have any more questions i really appreciate everyone thank you so much for showing up and i share all of you so deeply so i really hope to see you all in the next vlog whenever that may be and i will see you all next time bye